When Ken and I purchased our home, this is what the fireplace looked like. It was the fireplace itself was a very top of the line, very quality fireplace, but the surround around it was as about as cheap as you could be. It was a faux plastic green marble and this gold plastic trim. <laughs> it was horrible. So we knew we wanted to um, change it. The first thing we did is we started with the electrical because lighting is so key when you do a, a room remodel, I believe. It, it is one of the simplest things you can do to transform a space is to put um, some really nice lighting in there. So once we got the lighting put in, you can see how nice it just kind of flows onto the wall and creates just a wonderful, wonderful ambiance. In addition, we, above the fireplace, we put a, an electrical outlet and we ran the cable for the TV because we wanted to um, eventually put a TV above the fireplace. In addition, we um, textured and painted the walls a very neutral color. This particular paint is by Valspar and it's called Lindhurst Gallery Beige. And it's a beautiful warm tone that will go with just about everything. I love this color. We also put some crown molding, some new baseboards, and we did some trim around the windows. We finally had the room prepped, ready to start the stone project. Behind the fireplace, we prepped the wall with primer. And initially, we thought that's where we were going to put the stone. But once we started having the stone installed, it turned out so beautiful that almost immediately we decided that we wanted to do the entire wall as an accent wall. The transformation was was so amazing. Almost immediately, we knew that we wanted to do the entire wall with the stacked stone. Just changing out the plastic insert <laughs> was a huge improvement. So we had to do this in two phases though, because we had initially only ordered enough stone to do the um, fireplace. So we had to do it in two separate phases. The um, first phase was completed a couple years ago. And we, at that time, we just didn't have it in our budget to do the entire wall, nor did we have the time. But um, one thing we did do that I'm very, very grateful for is we originally had um, planned on ending the edge of the stonework here. But once we decided to, that we wanted to do the entire wall, we ended the edge at the window. And that made a big difference because if we would have ended here in the first phase and then came back round two and started laying the stonework, there would have been a, a line from floor to ceiling all the way down. And that would have looked really bad because you want to kind of stagger things. You don't want anything to be lined up. So that was a, one thing we did was we took it all the way to the wall. Ken had ordered, I believe it was 10 or 15% extra stone with the first order. And it was just enough. I mean, we were down to like just a few, handful of stones. I forget how many he had left over, but not many, but it was just enough. So that was a, a, a blessing there. Since this time, um, he ordered the remainder of the stone from El Dorado Stone Company. They have um, a fabrication plant in South Carolina and one in California. And they delivered it. Oh my goodness. I have a, a honeydew list for Ken and this is on the top of the list. So he's going to get ready and get this wall done. So I am excited. The product we used is a natural stone veneer and it comes in four inch high by eight inch, 12 inch, and 20 inch panels. And that makes the installation really easy. But it gives that look of stacked stone. It's a really neat product.
he has all of his stack stone laid out so he can take light colors and dark colors and kind of mix them up. So Ken, if someone has never done a DIY like this, what would you recommend? Well, anybody can do this. It's uh, really simple. This is a good product. Um, the stones come uh, made just like this, and they're not uh, real stone. They're fabricated, so they're a lot lighter. And you just uh, lay them all out, decide which ones you want to put up on your wall. Um, make sure that the dry, if you're putting it up on drywall, make sure that the drywall is primed. Uh, in this case, this one's primed and painted. So, um, and if you're going to go higher than 10 feet, you need to use the cement backer board, uh, wonder board, they call it. So otherwise you can just, uh, if you're not going higher than 10 feet, then just, you can stick it directly onto the drywall. You can use liquid nails or thin set. In this case, I'm just using liquid nails. It's a lot easier and cleaner. But you just pick out your piece, put it in place, and mark it. Mark where you want to cut it. So I'm going to place it next to the window frame there and then uh, make my mark. And then I'll cut it with uh, my grinding uh, tool. So that's an angled grinder and it has a cement cutter, right? That's what you told me. Yep. Okay, now after you cut it, we cut that piece. And a secret is whatever side that you cut, you don't want to see it. You want the rough side, like the man, you know, the side that still looks like a rock, not cut. And you can see like all these little uh, fibers or whatever you call these things in here. It's not real stone. And then you'd want to make sure that uh, it fits before you put the glue in. And I like to make them tight where the glue, in other words, they're not just sitting there and the, the glue is supporting it. I want to make it tight so it fits. Put your liquid nails on there, about a quarter of an inch bead back and forth. And then just stick it in place. And you're good. Okay, he's just made a cut, a dry cut, on the next stone here, and he's checking for level. And it's level. that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Maybe the left could, the left side could go up just a tad. And if it, if you want to um, use wood shims or what we have found that works great is a little piece of cardboard, um, and then you take it out after it it sets. Oh yeah, that's perfect now. Another thing we did that didn't cost a lot of money is we took this piece off of the mantle. It used to rest down here and we added this big board here. <clears throat> and what that did is it gave the mantle a little more weight and a little more substance, but it didn't really cost a lot of money to do. And here's the after. We also put a cherry wood stain on the floor. We hope you've enjoyed watching the transformation of our living room and thank you for watching.